Hi everyone, how are we doing today? We are here live in Bingham and we're outside Bingham Park Pavilion and we are joined by a very special group of lads today. We've got Mark McNulty, a very well-known name in Scottish football of course and we have got the Bingham Athletic Football Club as well and we're going to be talking to them about a very important cause. So let's bring it over to Mark McNulty. Hiya. So what are you doing here today then for anyone who's not sure? Well, f uh, first and foremost, like you say, is we're at Bingham, um, Bingham Park here at the Pavilion. Um, and we're, myself, I'm, I'm trying to help the, the lads here at uh, Bingham Athletic Football Club gain access to, to the park. Fantastic. And are you from Bingham yourself then? And what was it like sort of growing up here and starting to forge a career in football? Yeah, I grew up here um, for all my days of have been on these pitches up here and playing. I had family here and uh, it, was a, it was an everyday thing that we used to come. We used to play football. You could go any time of the day, any night and there wouldn't be anyone on it. Um, but I think lately it's, it's been sort of passed over to other people and the community of Bingham haven't got anywhere to go now. And it's got to the stage where I think something needs to be done about it. It's affecting the community and the, the, the boys that are trying to get on the pitch. So if there's anything I can do to help them, I'm just trying to do something. And um, do you think if the boys were to get into Bingham Park Pavilion, they would have a chance at having, you know, some of the success that you've had in your career? Absolutely, yeah. I think just speaking there to Reese, uh, some of the boys can't even make training because they're having to travel to Dalkeith and other places and stuff like that so it's stopping it's stopping people from uh, having that chance of playing football and giving them the opportunity to have the career that I've had so if they get the chance to have something on their doorstep uh, especially this area not a lot of people have got the money to, for transport and stuff like that as well so it's important that they, that they do get access to this and it's easy for them to, to get that opportunity. All right, thank you very much, Mark. Thank I appreciate you. that. So, we're just going to introduce you now to Reese, who is the manager of Bingham Athletic. Um, can you tell me what has the situation been with the football team and not having a permanent place to train? What impacts that had on the club? Uh, it's, it's basically just it's hard, really, because boys want to train, they want to play, and you you can't really book anywhere. It's, everywhere's always full. We've never really got our own place to go. Uh, Last season, two seasons ago, we had to make our home pitch at Dalkeith and most of the boys didn't drive. So it was it was hard even just getting to be able to play the game. Never mind being able to train. So it's Bingham Park's obviously better for us because it's local. It's walking distance as well. And it means obviously the boys can play free freedom one. Fantastic. And what have been like some of the issues that you've have you got a, a story for example that you could tell us you know about a time where one of the footballers has basically felt like they're not able to train because they don't have a permanent place to go um well i really because there's loads of young boys that are in the team and obviously again like driving and such stuff like that if you've not got somewhere to call home there's it doesn't really feel like football you know what I mean? So, obviously, we are a Bingham team. Playing in Bingham will mean immense loads to the to the boys. So, brilliant! Thank you so much. And then we're just going to introduce you to Hugh now. What's your position within the club? I am, for the moment, secretary of the football club. Brilliant. And can you explain to the people watching um, what it is that Bingham Athletic are trying to do to sort of take over Pavilion Park um, and, you know, how you think that will affect the club? We think that this pavilion is a of good things happening in the community. Right now, as Reese has already said, they're having to travel miles to do anything. The locals will not come turn up to watch them. We want to turn this place into an absolute cornerstone of the community. We want all age football, we want walking football for older people like myself. We're looking for girls football, the growing area we are missing out in this big time. Don't ask me what our real success would be if we win loads of medals. That's not the point. We want this place to be busy and to become a real centre for the community. Brilliant. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.